Welcome back to the bench. Today we have chips. These are some chips I got off eBay. These are Oki branded chips and they're one megabyte by one bit. So that means that we need uh, we need uh, eight of them to make one megabyte of RAM. And I have enough here to make four megabytes of RAM. The other are 16 chips. These are Motorola branded and here are 18 chips. So there's two spare. So I suspect these originally came out of a PC or something else. These ones, the Oki ones, all the legs have solder on. So obviously they've been reclaimed from another system. But all the uh, Motorola chips appear that they've come out of a system where they were socketed or these could even be new old stock and the legs are tarnished but not badly i think it will still work fine and then i'm going to use those to upgrade my super card copyright 1989 that's the year i left school ouch <laughs> So you can see we've already got a four mega of RAM in here, and this is a TMS branded, and these are 10, uh, 10 N, so they're 100 nanoseconds, um, and all these chips are also 100 nanoseconds. So I'm gonna fit those to this. This is our first upgrade, so this will give us the full um, nine mega of RAM, because obviously it has one meg on board. And then the other upgrade is this um, CF card adapter. Um, I already have the Buddha IDE installed, so this will just plug into that. And then we can uh, swap out our cards easily without having to keep opening up the case. And yeah, and I have a four meg SanDisk Ultra 2 compact flash, which I use in my Still camera. So I think I'm going to put in the Motorola chips first. One thing it's important to note with these is make sure you put your anti-static wrist strap on because yeah, if you're touching the bare legs of these things, you don't want to zap them. Uh, the pins look very, very straight. So that would suggest that they've already been socketed. So we can see from our notches that our chips go in this way. Um, let's see what the spacing is like. Yeah, that's pretty good. They go in there nice and easy. So we have 15 more to do. Okay, so that's all our uh, RAM chips fitted. You can see that we have two of the Oki chips left. As I said, there's 18 of those rather than the 16 that we required. The reason for that is that these probably came out of a PC originally, and they would have had nine chips per megabyte instead of um, eight chips. And that uh, ninth chip would have been for parity. So the last thing we need to do is just to change our um, jumpers here. We need to uh, set it for eight megabytes. Otherwise it won't see the extra RAM we just put in there. Okay, so that's in. Move those out of the way. We bring in our Amiga. Okay, so you can see here our Buddha IDE. And I have the cable ready to go in there. Right. 
So first I need to plug this cable in, which I just had to quickly make because I didn't have a uh, spare floppy drive connector because I'm using both floppy drives in this machine. That plugs into our card here. Um, and then our ID cable into here. Okay, I'm just going to take this blanking plate because, yeah, this is in the row where the border is. So, yeah, we won't be needing or won't be using that blanking plate. I'll find it in a minute. Right, so the last thing to do is to uh, put the lid on, hook it all up, and hope she still chooches. Okay, so we have everything installed, our nice little upgrades. Okay, you can see we've got basically a meg of chip RAM and also 8 meg of other memory, fast memory. Let's just double check the status of that by uh, going and checking sysinfo. Okay, so let's check our memory. Okay, so yeah, you can see here that we have our 8 megs of fast memory and our one meg of chip RAM. And if we take a look at the boards, you see here we've got our Zorro IDE. And curiously, it lists the memory as two separate four meg banks. So I was wondering if it's possible to put more than eight megs in there. I don't think so, but it's worth giving it a try, maybe at a later date. Anyway, if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you like to uh, follow me, then hit the subscribe button. And if you get like to get notified of future video releases, then you can hit that bell icon and ring my bell. I won't sing, I promise. So as always, thank you for watching.